Types of ribs. True ribs, false ribs, and floating ribs. Hey everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about the ribs. We'll break down what ribs are, the different types, and how each type plays its unique role in the rib cage. Let's dive right in. What are ribs? Ribs are curved, paired bones that are located in the chest region of the human body. They form the rib cage, also known as the racic cage. There are 12 pairs of ribs in the human body, thus totaling 24 ribs. Each rib connects to the vertebral column posteriorly and the sternum anteriorly through cartilage. Though there are some exceptions. Types of ribs. There are 12 pairs of ribs, all of which articulate with the vertebral column. However, only seven have a direct articulation with the sternum. According to their attachment to the sternum, the ribs are classified into three groups. True ribs. Ribs 1 to 7. False ribs. Ribs 8 to 10. Floating ribs. Ribs 11 and 12. We will discuss them one by one. True ribs. Vertebrasternal ribs. True ribs are the first seven pairs of ribs that directly attach to the sternum through their own costal cartilages. They are also known as vertebrasternal ribs because they attach directly to thoracic vertebrae posteriorly and directly to sternum anteriorly with their own costal cartilages. They are numbered ribs 1 through 7. They are located at the top of the rib cage. They contribute to the structure of the rib cage, protecting the vital organs inside. False ribs. Vertebrochondral ribs. False ribs are the second group of ribs, ribs 8 to 10, that do not directly attach to the sternum. Instead, their costal cartilages connect to the costal cartilage of the rib above them, thus, indirectly attaching to the sternum. False ribs are called false because they don't attach directly to the sternum like true ribs do. They are also called vertebrochondral ribs because they connect to thoracic vertebrae posteriorly and to the costal cartilages of the ribs above them anteriorly. Floating ribs. Vertebral ribs or free ribs. These are the last two pairs of ribs, 11 and 12. They do not connect to the sternum at all, nor to any other rib or costal cartilage. They are called floating because they do not connect anteriorly to the sternum like the other ribs. Instead, they end in the abdominal musculature without connecting to any other bones or costal cartilages. They are also called vertebral ribs because they attach to the thoracic vertebrae posteriorly. And that wraps up the types of ribs, true, false, and floating. Each one plays a key role in keeping our vital organs safe and allowing us to breathe with ease. Thanks for listening.